Hover tanks are generally used in science fiction universes, and rightfully so. A tank that hovers off the ground, firing beams of plasma, is a good way to set a distant future theme for a story. But when applied to the real world, they make literally zero sense, and will not be an effective replacement for mainland battle tanks, even in the distant far future. In today's discussion video, I'll explain why hover tanks make zero sense in the real world. When people talk about hover tanks, their superior speed over modern tanks is brought up quite a bit, and admittedly, these people would probably be correct. A hover tank would almost certainly have a much higher top speed than a tank using treads. But this wouldn't be a good thing. For one, there would be very little to stop the tank once it accelerates. If we're talking about something that weighs about the same as a modern MBT, roughly 50 to 70 tons, and considering the hover tank will not be touching the ground, I don't see it stopping once it hits its top speed. This comes with a plethora of different disadvantages. For one, the weapon would be very unstable and inaccurate, the tank would be prone to crashing into things, and of course, its fuel would run dry very quickly, limiting the amount of time a hover tank could be in combat. Another disadvantage would be the vulnerability of the tank's hovering mechanism. The treads on a tank have always been a vulnerable target of course. You disable the treads, the tank can't move. This has been combated somewhat effectively via armor and the treads themselves being somewhat durable. When it comes to hover tanks, this wouldn't be the case. They'd be using fans or something similar to them if we're using modern or near future technology. These of course would need to be exposed to keep the hover tanks floating. This would make even small arms fire dangerous to the tank's maneuverability capabilities, as a rifle round to a turbine fan would be more than enough to damage it. Using fans or other modern means to make a tank hover would also be extremely loud, making it easy for a tank's position to be given away. People argue when defending hover tanks that they'd be immune to landmines. This isn't the case when using real world methods that can make a tank hover. Mines are activated for the most part when enough pressure is applied to them, and I can guarantee you that whatever is making a hover tank float would be exerting more than enough force on the ground to detonate a mine, taking into account that whatever it is, is strong enough to make a 60 ton war machine float. If anything, they'd be more vulnerable to mines, as even light infantry mines would be more than enough to disable the hovering mechanism. The weapons a hover tank could use would be very limited as well due to the amount of space used to install the hovering mechanism. This would both limit the types of weapons it could carry and the amount of ammo it could store. This would most likely give the tank much less firepower and make it more akin to an IFV or an LAV in terms of what weapons it can carry into battle. So the bottom line is, hover tanks are impractical machines that don't work in real life. They're essentially helicopters that can't fly. In fact, a helicopter can do everything a hover tank can do, but be much better at it. Similar to what I said in the Why Mechs Are Impractical video, hover tanks are a cool concept to make a science fiction universe look cool and give it a distant future theme. But that's where hover tanks should stay, in fiction. Because like I said in the Mechs video, modern tanks with treads are a proven and superior system to both hover tanks and large mechs. Well that wraps up today's video. Lore videos will be returning shortly, just need to get some ideas on what to cover for them. It'll most likely be more Halo stuff, as that's what seems to get the most views out of all my lore videos. I'll of course cover other science fiction universes as well. Just let me know what you guys want in the comments. I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.